Welcome to the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. My name is Benegit Olomo, and I am happy to announce to you, or remind you, that you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So what is the truth? Let's take a journey. Yesterday I saw the video of Peter Obi, classical Peter Obi, campaigning for the Labour Party gubernatorial candidate in Kogi State. And what he said caught my fancy, particularly because over the weekend, I was in Kogi, and I had the experience, I shared the video earlier, about how this woman was asking me for 1,000 naira for soup money, ofe, ogo, soup, obe. And I gave her 1,000 naira, and she was raining heavy prayers of gratitude to me for giving her 1,000 naira. I was surprised. And when I asked the people who invited me, they gave me all manner of stories. How 1,000 Naira is a big deal to the average residents and citizens and indigents of Kogi, Kogi State, Nigeria. So, when I saw Peter Obi at the campaign, on the campaign trail for a day job, the Labour Party gubernatorial candidate for Kogi State, I was particularly interested to hear what he had to say. After listening to Peter Obi, I have this opinion. I may be wrong, but hear me out. I think somebody needs to explain something to Peter Obi very, very clearly and quickly. Not everybody who can read and write, everybody who is literate, not all of them are educated. And particularly with the situation that I saw in Kogi, Peter Obi needs to be reminded or told, in case he doesn't know, that the condition of living in Kogi has made crawfish to bend. Condition of living in Kogi has made the average Kogi indigent to bend. They have become so bent that they don't think logically. And it is, it is important that we say this because... On the campaign trail, I heard Peter Obi saying that the people should know that the 1,000, the 5,500, the money that the corrupt politicians are giving to them is not the money of the people. That is, it's not the money of the corrupt politicians, but the money of the people. And because of that, the people should not vote for the corrupt politician. Now, that statement is very, very true. Very, very true. With one small but, in fact, not small but, a very big but. Classical Peter Obi went on to say and give them statistics about how Kogi is 30,000 square kilometers. 30,000 square kilometers of land and he was comparing it to the Netherlands. In fact, 30,000 square kilometers for Kogi is more than the five southeast states put together. That's the size of Kogi. Anambra is about 6,000 square kilometer. Um, Enugu is about 9,000 square kilometer. The other is about 6, Imo is about 6,000 or 7,000 square kilometers. Put all of them together, they are less than 30,000 square kilometer, which means that Kogi state is big. Kogi state is bigger than the five southeast states put together. That's to tell you the amount of potential that Kogi has. Yet, 70% of the population of Kogi State are living in multi-dimensional poverty. 70%. And if it was just the poverty they have to contend it with, it would be okay. The average Kogi indigent is living in fear. They are terrorized by people that are called the data boys of Yahya Bilu. People are afraid to even as Simple as criticize Yahaya Bilu because from what I heard, you don't even know if the person next to you is recording you. And before you know it, you go missing. That is the terror. That is the condition of, of life, of living, that the average Kogi indigent have to face and contend with every day. The average Kogi civil servant earns 10%, 20% of their salary. In fact, the governor came on air to say that it was loan. Which loan? Civil servants, teachers, local government workers were made 
to forcefully buy laptops that they did not need. And these laptops were inferior quality laptops. Inferior quality laptops. Because the people who were supplying it were friends of the people in power. Laptop that should normally not cost 50000 eight years ago was forcefully sold to the civil servant of Kogi State for over 120,000 Naira. In the name of the money will be collected from the salary. Now, it will not take up to one year to collect this so-called first loan from the people, but they have been collecting it for the past eight years. And they cannot talk because of the fear, the phobia. Oh, if you talk, you go missing. That is the condition of life that the average Kogi indigene are forced to contend with on a daily basis. So, dear Mr. Peter Obi, forgive me, but I have to tell you, these people cannot reason straight anymore. They cannot reason straight. So, there is only one solution for them, and that solution is to take over the responsibility of meeting their needs. We can't just go speaking English to them and giving them statistics. They won't understand. Even the graduates among them, they will not understand. Condition, don't make crawfish bend for Kogi. And I dare say it's not even only Kogi. It's so across Nigeria and indeed across Africa. So when we go to places like Kogi, we should be wary of the statistics we give them, of the information we give them. We should know. That a responsibility is on all of us that are well to do to take care of the needs of the average multidimensionally poor indigents of Kogi. That's one solution, one way out. Now, for this system to change, Labour Party in Kogi, PDP in Kogi, SDP in Kogi cannot afford to make the same mistakes that was made at the presidential election of 2023. Yes, I agree. This system is put in place by Yahaya Bello. This system is masterminded by the APC. So the APC must go in Kogi. But who will spearhead this movement? It cannot be a fractionalized movement. So neither APC, sorry, neither PDP nor Labour Party no, SDP can afford to go it alone. I don't care what you have to do, but you have to join forces. You have to dissolve yourself into a single opposition movement. If there's going to be any chance to unseat APC and Yaya Bello's candidate to do in Kogi State, if the interest of the politicians in Labour Party, in PDP, in in uh, SDP, if the interest is to make life better for the average citizens of Kogi, if the interest of these politicians, Mutala of uh, SDP, Adejo of Labour Party, Dino Melaye of PDP, if the interest, if your interest for running for governor of Kogi is to make the lives of the people of Kogi better, if it is not for self aggrandizement and selfish parochial reasons, individual selfish reasons if it's not for that then all of you must join forces if not you will split your votes and apc will perpetrate itself to the detriment of the average citizens of nigeria so what am i saying the way forward you need to join forces the opposition needs to speak with one united voice one united voice yes given the apc will come from some other smaller political parties but not a problem. But for everybody that is in opposition that is interested in making the lives of the Kogi indigents better, taking them out of this tyranny that has bent them psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, and physically, then you must join forces. English number no one, people are hungry. I know what I saw in Kogi when I was there over the weekend. So English will not work. These people do not, they are, they are, their reasoning have been dwarfed. They have been bent. Conditions too true. Don't make crawfish bend, sir. So all of you, I'm calling on all of you, there needs to be a united front against the APC in Kogi. And not just in Kogi, in Imo State, 
in 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 Bielsa State, there needs to be a united front. And like I would say, get your polling unit agents ready. At least three for each polling unit. At least three. And if you have not gotten anything ready, the collation software, get it ready. Your situation room, very, very important. Be collating your results from the polling unit. And I've also given solution about how to handle violence at the polling unit. We have to think smart to outsmart these people because they're not dealing with us rationally so we cannot deal with them rationally too we have to apply smart i've said my own the ball is in our court we can't deal with them rationally thank you